I'd like to start off by introducing everybody in the room to my awesome younger sister. She's 12 years old, and her name is Basola. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Now, when she became very ill in Nigeria, her condition, which would have been very easy to cure in the UK where I worked, became lethal because of the six-hour journey by plane that she required to remove her from the area where she was to the area that she could get adequate treatment for her condition. As you can imagine, my entire family was frantic, trying to find a way to move her from this area where she had blatantly overwhelmed the level of care available to her, to an area where there was a more appropriate level of care. After what seemed like a hundred phone calls, we finally found a service all the way in South Africa, five hours away, that could transfer her. As you can imagine. We were all very relieved, and I picked up the phone immediately and called my sister to tell her that everything was going to be okay. There was a service in South Africa that was going to move her away from Lagos to a better hospital where the doctors would make her better. Everything was going to be okay. Just a few hours after that conversation, my beautiful, awesome sister was dead, and it was that death. That inspired me to begin to work at the speed of life. Currently, there are hundreds of people over, all over West Africa that rely on our team of 40 doctors and 16 aircrafts to move the right patient to the right medical facility within the right time frame. They rely on us to work at the speed of life. Take, for example, Mr. Rikena. Mr. Ikena was 25 years old and working in a bank in Nigeria when he was shot in the face during a terrorist attack. The speed of life for him was the five hours that it took him to move from Adamawa State, where he was injured in Nigeria, to London for emergency reconstructive surgery. Or Mrs. Madupe, for instance, who was comatose with meningitis and reported in a rural area of Nigeria. The speed of life for her was the one hour that it took us to move her from that rural area of Nigeria to Lagos, where she could receive life-saving intensive care therapy and antibiotics. That journey would have taken 10 hours on Nigerian roads, which are often plagued by armed robbers. Our work also allows us to impact one of the major causes of death in Africa: trauma. 10% of all deaths worldwide are caused by trauma. 90% of those deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries, just like Nigeria. Our service allows us to move these traumatized patients to centres that might be hundreds of miles away by road in a matter of minutes, getting the right patient to the right medical facility within the right time frame. Another. Big challenge that our service helps circumvent is the problem of maternal mortality. For every one woman who dies in the West in childbirth, 1,000 women die during childbirth in Africa. I'll say that again because you all don't look surprised enough. For every one woman who dies in the West during childbirth, a thousand die in Africa. So we took a service. That works well in the West and adapted it for Africa. It's a simple concept, but definitely an idea worth spreading. Thank you.